Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn. We have built a tribute to Ingenuity and uh, we are ready to plug it into the panel network. But first, we're going to start this episode off with a bang. Ha, 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 ha. Do you get it? Bang? Because, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, a few little ones here to blow up here. Brum, brum, brum. Um, I was wrong, Mr. Moki. You were right. You were right. Uh, so um, <laughs> let's put in the rest of these things here. We still got more to uh, to place and to do and to change and to explode and to uh... yeah, blow that up, blow that up. Pop, 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 pop. Put those down. That one needs to get built as well. And we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nowhere near there. We're nowhere near there. Um, I am going to, however, uh, lower all that to be low priority as well. Um, because we want to build the town. So I've built the the water tanks down here. We've moved all this around, built the water tanks down here. So they're all in place there. So we can get rid of the middle line here and run a line straight through if we want to. Well, when we want to, which we will do. Um, and this works fine. This is working beautifully well here. Um, uh, there was a suggestion um, about running the aqueducts up the side here instead. So you can also get to the, uh, the run the ladders up the side so you can get the aqueducts as well. Um, yep. Yep, probably should have, but that's okay because we're going to put in houses in here and then we're going to use the roofs of the houses to get up on top of things and change stuff. So, okay. So, what do I want to do? However, something's not right here somewhere. I think there was one. Yeah. Yeah, there's one missing here I missed out. Uh, let's plug that in. Make that the priority. Get ourselves a tribute of ingenuity running. And then we're going to figure out the housing. So we want a mega beaver, which is a thousand beavers. We need to run a thousand beavers um, to figure out how many. Uh, well, uh, this very much depends on the happiness level of our beavers. So let me uh, pause the game just a moment here so I can click on a beaver and they're running away. Uh, let's not click on a beaver that's already starving. Uh, let's find a beaver that's good. Here we go. So we are currently at 40% life expectancy. We can definitely get up higher than that. So the next one is 60. And I think there's another one after that, which is like 80. Um, I don't think they go to 100. They may do. They may go to 100 um, happiness. So yeah uh, and we know one of these supports 10 by default because it works the same as uh the other uh breeding pods and then you just add on whatever percentage you've got to do it so this is 20 so our, our average happiness is uh 15 so we need to find a beaver that's that so the average the average is 15 so we're at plus 40 percent so that means uh these are supporting 14 beavers each now if we were to assume we could get to 100 percent, that would mean we'd need that they would support 20 beavers each and we want a thousand beavers a thousand divided by 20 we need 50 of these dotted around 50 of them that's a lot of beavers that's a lot of beavers also housing we want to house 50 so 16 uh beavers there so let's do a thousand divided by 16 as well uh thousand divided by 16 is is 62 of these houses now we can stack them and we're going to stack them we can set them too high we can't go three uh, we can go three if we were to come off the edge uh and put them so they sit there and then that's convenient because that also allows us to uh um get to the top with a ladder that goes up so i think we will do that we might put like some twos in the in the outside or something i'm not, I'm not too sure but I want to build something that is um, that fits into this four by four gap or four four this um four by four. What about this uh this gap? I don't know how big this gap is, uh, but it fits into this gap here, and spreads all the houses out kind of evenly. So if I say so, we need six two and a half houses. Uh, divide that by three. 
uh, which means we need 21 houses in each seg segment. Uh, sorry, 20, 21 of these stacks. Um, and then divide that by four. We only need five of these stacks in each place. Well, six. Uh, six times four, six, well, six times three, we put 18 houses in each place. Uh, sorry. Uh, Six times three, so there's six six of these stacks in here. Put 18 houses in there. Times that by four, there's 72. And then times that by uh, 16, which is how many beavers are in there. There's uh, 1,152 houses, which is fine. So we need six of these stacks in here. That's not all that much, actually. That leaves plenty of space for... Uh, uh, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all we need. I'm not going to do it like that. That's, that's just... Uh, yeah, that's all we need in each quadrant. That's not a lot of land, actually. That's not a lot of land. That's way less land than I expected it to be, if I'm entirely honest with you. Um, and then ladders going up. So we want we want some of them up against the edge of this. Uh, so I'd like some to be like up against there and there, and there and there for the uh, the roads. We want to use the roofs for. Uh, putting in things like the rooftop terraces uh, we want to put in swim pools so hence why we want the access to the uh, the aqueduct that's fine um the aqueduct also can go over here and, and it goes over here so we can get more swim pools in there and there we probably won't use these ones for swim pools but we could um if we wanted to we, we could we could figure out a way to bridge over to it i suppose um or just build a ladder up here or something we, we could figure a way over to that not a problem um hmm Okay, so I need, I need six. So right, okay. In that case, in that case, let's go. And so let's say, for instance, I want to put one here, guaranteed. We want one there. Okay, uh, I'm going to temporarily uh, put in some levies here. And then remove them all, just to clear the land up. No more, no more crops on the land. So if we put one there, um, I could put them up against the edges. The, the problem with doing what I've just done there is uh, we have the ladder come up centre because it needs to come up centre to get to the doors. Uh, and um, we then can't put a rooftop terrace on there because they're three by whatever and if I put one on there it blocks access across and I can't put it there because there's no door going up to it so we might have to raise up some other things entertainment wise we want like all these things in here as well all, all these things sort of dotted around maybe in here and around the edge as well not as many houses as I expected we also definitely want uh places for uh the um the breeding pods to go because we need 50 of these now that's 25 per per quadrant so that's a lot that is actually a lot of uh space for those but again they can go on top of things uh there's no reason why we can't build um some things in places um i mean the motivatorium is quite large but we can build over the top of things we have the overhang platforms now that can do that sort of thing so and we could actually run a lot of the, uh, a lot of the how the these things we could actually sit under here. So, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we could put them underneath there and like, have them underneath here. It does use up kind of all the land for them, so they could also be some sort of things. Also, we don't necessarily need to stack these so high. We could have these lower down and just have ladders that go up to, uh, to the aqueducts there and have them much larger to have a bigger top area. Hmm. 
because what I don't want to do uh, is put the put, put them like this and just put them all next to each other um, and have like a stack of houses um, like that I don't, I don't I don't want to do that um if I can help it we could do that I very much could do that have all the, all the rows of houses like on the back and have them down the size and then actually have stuff in the center um not worry about it uh, the other thing as well is we, we could also use the the row houses uh because they are way more compact when it comes to uh um space for the thing that, and they, they could sit in there just underneath them and uh they could sit underneath the edge and we actually wouldn't have that much of a a need for space so um we need twice as many but it's half the land uh, because uh yeah, they, they store. So instead of um, uh, what was it, sixty-two point five divided by four? Instead of um, fifteen in an area, sixteen in an area. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, sixteen houses we need, isn't it? So. Yeah, so instead of so it's always got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Oh. If I miss I sixteen times four is sixty-four. Times sixteen is a thousand. Yeah. So we, we only need sixteen houses. Yeah. Um so instead of that we we would need to have thirty two of these, but as I said, they use up way less space. So that can sit under there as well, so um, and they can basically sit right underneath there. I don't think we could then get stuff on top of them if I did that. Yeah, I don't think I could put. No, we can't put the pods on top of them, unfortunately. Um, but a pod could sit behind them. That wouldn't be a major problem. Uh, and we can still do ladders going up where everyone do them. So. Um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, fourteen. Um, uh, fourteen times eight is one hundred and twelve. Oh yeah, no, we, yeah, we need twice the amount of space in the movie, so um. A thousand beavers divided by eight means that we need 125 of those houses divided by four. We need to put 31 in each place. So yeah, um, but that's that's an option. I, I don't I don't know which way around to go with it. If I'm honest with you, I don't have a clue which way around to go with this. I kind of want to go with the large barracks though to, to attach the edges here. Um, It's just a shame you can't have overhangs that, that actually physically overhang. That would be nice. Um, for instance, the uh, the overhangs here, they must be sat on top of something. You can't have them, so they... They, uh, they don't attach to the side of things. They attach to the top of things. So I can't... I couldn't build a, a ladder going up and then have a one reaching over by one, if that makes sense. Um, so I couldn't have the housing... Uh, here. Um, oh. Like that. Um, have the ladder go up and go over by one so we can get to this side of it. So we can put roofs or terraces up there. So, yeah. Not quite possible. Not quite possible. Oh, we've also got this to explode, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Um, so let me have a play and try and figure out what I want to do here um, because I thought it would just come to me as a slide, I put them down being like, yeah, that looks good, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure. So I'll have a play and I'll try and figure out exactly what I want to get here, kind of the layout I want. Because I need to also include um, lots of well-being things, so I'll, we'll be right back. Okay, many moments later, um, I have come up with a plan. It's, it's a good plan. It's a very good plan. It's an excellent plan. The best, the best plan that's ever been planned. Um, 
and it's like this i was trying to look at trying to build something maybe a bit organic and make it look yes and then and my brain went you're playing the iron teeth they don't do that it's about efficiency it's about it's about just efficiency and so i came up with this idea I come up with this idea. I've used barracks rather than large barracks, which store 10 beavers each. And we have nine of them down here, nine times three um, along here. So uh, we, have, we have nine times three is 27 barracks, times 10 is 270 beavers in each one, and then times four, because it's four of them, 1,080 beavers. This can store. This can store 180 beavers. Yep, yep, they're going to storage. Um, underneath here, we have. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, food storage all the food gets stored underneath here there's lots of dead space we're going to fill it with um we got some we'd have to put the breeding pods in uh, the breeding pods are actually going to go next to uh, the uh next to the pods here wherever they can they're kind of going to squeeze in here um i need to get 50 of them in so they're going to squeeze in here there's a couple of places that are dead space because there's ladders that can't come out the other side so but, um, but we, we can figure that out so that also in between them and above and other bit species i will put some decorations because uh remember that every house needs a shrub assigned with it needs a lantern needs a roof uh needs a brazier so there's one two three four five six seven eight no the bell's not either but there's there's seven so there's seven different well-being items that need to touch every house and i want it to touch in the houses because when all the beavers come back to go to sleep they uh get the bonuses when they're asleep so they get all the bonuses so, so i want to put a shrub somewhere near it and we can have one shrub covering two houses so put a shrub there does that put a shrub there does that 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 you know so we can we can do that that's easy a little bit other bits and pieces we can dot around we can dot inside here we can do bits and pieces because some of them are got a larger areas than others so um we can do that you know the brace is quite a large one as well that can cover uh, we can get one there and cover like two houses we can't cover three. Oh, we cover three houses. We put it there. So that sort of thing. You know, I'd have to figure out exactly where these will go. Roofs are easy. Roofs just put at the top of the stairs. Um, it's not a problem at all. Um, uh, water, I'm going to put at the back here. Water and coffee. Uh, we'll put a couple dotted down the backs here as well. Um, so that'd be nice going on down there. Um, we've got the two wind turbine tunnels and two motivatoriums. Because if we're going to have a thousand beavers, I probably even need more than two of each think but the plan is to go down to eight hour work days if we can once we get enough beavers um so that every uh every that, that, so that we have loads of spare beavers we're not going to use a thousand beavers but once we have loads of spare beavers um we're going to have to eight hour work days because in those eight hours they can come and get everything can and, and harvest things and do all the bits pieces it's fine it's a shame you can't do shift work in this game like have a um you know the morning shift the afternoon shift um so that you can have some beavers off work during the day and then they go to work at night and then the ones that are off during the day can come and join the ent entertainment and then the ones at night can come join the entertainment that'd be nice that'd be very nice to have um it would be complicated to implement i don't know if that's something really that would but um but it, it would be very nice to have just I don't know two shifts i suppose two shifts three shifts three shifts would be the best way to do it because they do three eight hour shifts and then a building could be running all the time um and then you have um if beavers work at night they uh i don't know maybe add a sanity thing or something i'm trying to figure out like what um survive masters but um but anyway yeah so this is this is the plan this is the plan for all the things here um there are ladders going up to different ones here they're spaced correctly so that i could get the ladders in to do things so this one the entrance is the opposite side to this one um so everything's fine there we've got some roads we've got roads coming off there we've got spaces here campfires we're going to need way more than this i'm thinking i'm going to put like the campfires behind each one in a strip all the way down because i know full well um that you need so many campfires um I'll do this here they're all facing this direction as well just because of conformity sake and it leaves lovely dead ends as well where i can put in things um like uh, i don't put in any i don't think there's a one place oh there's exercise plaster as well oh i forgot about that doesn't require power though so that's okay so that can go down here somewhere 
doesn't need power so we can put two of those in like opposite the motivatorium or something um yeah let's put two of those in one there and one there that's the big boys there uh ladders go up to top uh scratchers they're little one thing so we can put scratchers down on the end here so that wouldn't be a problem we don't need decontamination pods because nothing's ever going to go wrong ever or medical beds um we shouldn't need a shower um we could put showers in on the little pools here but we shouldn't need them because all, all the only thing that a shower does is give you wet fur and a swim pool also does that and we're gonna have swim pools upstairs so that's fine so that covers all of those i think it's just the mud baths the only ones that i haven't figured out yet but um kind of as i was saying i haven't figured them out uh i can see down here they require power um and we have a power shaft down here so i could replace some of these with a um uh a cross junction and we could put the them down the center here like this and we've got the main roads going across so these are the the roads that split the thing so we've got three three houses and a road and a row yeah three houses and a road three houses and a row so they, they, they are split so we can get everywhere and do everything we need to do so yeah if we run that there i don't know what i'm gonna put here and here i don't know um haven't figured it out yet uh, also we need to put in the um other um ones of these guys but i kind of want these to be uh near the houses somewhere um so i'm not really sure on these i might put them up in the sky um like build a platform for them it's kind of awkward they're only too large which is fine we could get rid of some of the rooftop terraces i don't think we need that many of them uh, the annoying thing is you can't put campfires on top of roofs which is like really come on let me put impermeable floors and then use the impermeable floors as a um you know an actual solid base for putting campfires or something but they don't, no you can't do it must be placed on the ground only oh boo especially for your iron teeth like, why, why can't i have a, a big bonfire why why, why? yeah um yeah so maybe we'll get rid of um some of the rooftop terraces and i'll just figure out the most optimal way to get the most out of these it looks like we're going to have to have four of them one two three and four of those and then the labor monument oh if i put it there it won't reach it'll come over by one that's that's annoying we might have to have eight of these Mm. Although the lemon monuments, actually, I believe they're smaller, aren't they? Yeah, they can actually technically fit underneath here. We've got some spaces for them, so I could put one here. That will cover all those houses. And one there. Yep, yep. So the lemon monuments could actually go here and here and that is covering yeah it touches every house nice nice well that's where they're gonna go then cool so you go there and you go there awesome there's the lemon one you was done we can't get the tribute to ingenuity and uh, sorry uh, the flame of unity underneath there because it's taller it's taller than the uh the aqueducts it can't so it can go under the aqueducts where there's no uh double row so if i move this up you see you see the um this is the platform that po pokes out so it can go underneath there um where there isn't one of those platforms like that but the problem is that's also where our um food is so <laughs> um i could move the food over by one but i don't want to move the food over one i will put these on top i feel and they, they can happily live inside there that's that's not a problem going there um, i might double them up just to make it look more authentic it does if i did that though we would be using up a last space um that we could potentially use for um there's still plenty of space underneath there uh but i'm just thinking potentially we could use it for um
what are they called? The breeding pods. But that's, I think we're going to be okay for the breeding pods because we need, um, uh, how many do we need? If they're, they're going to do 20 each um, at maximum happiness. Uh, so um, we want to do 1,000 divided by um, 20. Uh, we need 50 of them, okay? Uh, and we can just dot them here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There can be some in here as well. Um, we can definitely put them around and not really worry about it. I think there's plenty of plenty of options to put them in places. So yeah, I just need to get 25 on this side here. There's plenty of 25 even with those. There's plenty of 25 dots in there, um, and still spaces to put other things to be spaced in there. And if if we need to put a couple extra in, we just dot them out around here. They can maybe go in between the houses in some places. Um, not a problem particularly. Uh, we could platform over the top of these on the edges and put them on top of that as well. There, there's plenty of spaces for them to go, but but yeah. So there we go. There's that there. Um, I really don't know. I can't, I can't spread this out any further than this. Um, to make it more even. And there isn't another large well-being place uh, i only detail as well uh, they'll, they'll go in that's fine that's not a problem so um but we have one two three one two three oh i could put more in couldn't i oh i put three of each in might put three of each in and then figure out yeah spacing of three of each that's fine we just need to get power that's the only problem the wind turbines and that's why i put them in the center because they're the ones that need power and then get power from the center um so if we put the wind turbines in the turbines the wind tunnels in and the motivatorium like up there and x close plaza is here so x close plaza x close plaza wind motivatorium we could get power from the center coming out because i can always dig tunnels out and do things with that so and also we're going to have uh, the mud baths in here um and i might blow them up and load, load them down by one just to make life easier for me um which means they transfer power and then tra power can just come out of the back and connect so we have that option as well yeah we might do that we might do that so but what do you think about this layout what do you think about this? before i unpause the game and build it all i'm not gonna unpause the game i'm gonna we're gonna ship this episode and uh we will um let me know what you think let me know what you think it's, it's still got to have, have details and stuff added to it for other bonuses but it's industrial looking because we're playing the iron teeth and the iron teeth are industrial beavers so hmm. yeah we still got loads of explosions and stuff to happen over here first as well um i'm not putting any of the uh advanced breeding pods in yet because of the berry situation we do that also i don't have any berry storage that's easy we'll figure berry storage out um but i need to get one of the aqueducts built somewhere where we're going to put berries in and actually get a berry plantation going before we start doing expanding the population and we run out of berries and stuff goes wrong and yeah yeah okay okay so there we go there we go that's what it'll look like let me know what you think let me know what you think Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, fun.